Jess, I have been in the industry since 1986, more full time since 1994, starting with API and I had a lot of experience in the wholesale industry as, as well as the retail industry. So you being in the retail industry, how has it changed over the years? Well, I worked first in pharmacy as well as a pharmacy assistant and then I studied the dispensary technician course and then came to MedMate. So I've got a bit of a view of what both are like. Definitely with e-scripts and everything becoming a thing and everything being electronic now, using MedMate is definitely the way to go. It's so much easier to shop online, get everything delivered to you. You would probably know yourself as well that yeah. it's, it's a good thing to do. How have you seen pharmacy transition in the last, say, 20 months since the pandemic? How have you seen it? since that period of time when you were in retail as opposed to now working for MedMate and uh, looking at the pharmacy industry evolve so much into an online business which uh, yeah. it needed to. Yeah, there's so many more customers than just the face-to-face -face customers now. You've got the ones over the phone, you've got the ones ordering online, whether that's through the pharmacy's own website or through a site like us. Um, it's definitely come a long way. Pharmacies now need to focus not just on their customers that are coming in and they're seeing face to face every day, but also the ones that are shopping online. Those ones are generating a lot of sales, yeah. especially with the whole pandemic and a lot of people having to isolate. They weren't able to get out to pharmacies and get their essentials and the things that they needed. Mm -hmm. So they would turn to MedMate and still be able to get all their medications and everything delivered within 60 minutes. So. so from a MedMate perspective in the office, have you had uh, pharmacies giving you some of that feedback over the phone, letting you know how important that service is and what you're trying to do for, for them as a pharmacy and trying to bring that sort of service to customers? Yeah, 100%. There's been a lot of pharmacy feedback. Even sometimes a customer will actually contact the pharmacy and say, look, I don't know what to do. I need something delivered. Mm -hmm. The pharmacy won't necessarily offer their own delivery service. So they'll say, jump onto MedMate. Mate, mm -hmm. you can order everything you need through there and they'll help get it delivered. I think also uh, pharmacies don't realise with MedMate orders that they have that flexibility to contact the customer and um, even if they don't have a particular item they can actually say would you like a generic or would you like this particular product okay. in lieu of the one that you requested. Um, so I think it's all about education. It's yeah. not just about um, edu educating the pharmacies that yeah. there is flexibility, but it's also about the pharmacies educating the customer that when you do put an online order in, um, you have that flexibility mm. to adjust that order if need be. A lot of the time the customers that yeah. are ordering are in desperate need of mm. painkillers or yeah. you know, cough and cold medication, whatever it may be, mm. they're not going to be too concerned with what brand mm. it is. So yeah, pharmacies are definitely able to change things mm. to still get that order to the customer. Yeah. And I think it's really important to note that uh, especially the last 20 months since the pandemic, I, I think it's really important that even though pharmacy is classified as an essential service, um, I don't think the public realise that even pharmacies have struggled, businesses have struggled, pharmacy has struggled a great deal, particularly those stores in the city. So MedMate offering this sort of service and you know, customers being able to, to purchase online mm -hmm. I think has sort of saved their bacon to a degree yep. because it's a it's a way of getting garnering those additional orders that they never thought that they'd be able to get. Yep. A lot of pharmacies are also not sure where to start. They don't know oh, I'd love to be able to get more online orders but I don't have a website set up or I don't you know my, my website isn't live or or I don't know how I'm gonna get these these online orders. So I think that's where MedMate has come to the party and certainly helped pharmacies out. Yeah. I think in these times though, pharmacies have to look at other options. It's really important that they do that because it's not just a matter of relying on the customer that walks in the door. They need to be able to, to, to look at other options and online certainly yeah. covers that. And the customers may be living very close by to certain pharmacies but not even realise that mm. that pharmacy is actually there until they mm. jump on MedMate and see it listed as within their distance. Mm. And we're finding that a lot of customers are maybe going onto MedMate just to get one prescription or one packet of Panadol mm. and then they're seeing what else is available and yeah. their basket size is just increasing and increasing they might add jelly beans or band-aids or something else that they need and that's more sales for the pharmacy mm. so I think it's also an opportunity to what you just mentioned but we had a in the family we had a recent order and we needed to to buy a packet of vitamins and you know it was an opportunity for 
ourselves and even a customer in general to add their items. So in this case, it was a box of anagrain. It, you know, in this case, it was a, a couple of other items. There was a, a cortisone cream. So I think filling up the first aid yeah. cupboard is, is a good yeah. option to when you're Definitely. purchasing one item for them to be able to um, have an add-on sale. And that certainly benefits the pharmacy. But I think that pharmacy is yet to learn how to utilise and make the most of MedMate. And I think that's really important that we get that message out. I think that um, it's really important that when the MedMate orders come through, that the pharmacy looks at other options. If they don't have that particular product or that particular brand, it's really important that they jump on it and offer another option because nine times out of 10, the customer is going to go with the generic or going to go with the other option that is yep. available because it's not about anything other than service. And that's what MedMate is about. And that's certainly what pharmacies are about. So pharmacies are all about service for their customers, regardless of whether those customers are walking in the door, picking up the phone, Putting an online order through MedMate, customers are all the same. And the, I think the great thing about MedMate and what we don't realise is that the assumption is it's just an online order mm. and it's it's really not because you can actually, as a, as a pharmacist, I guess, or pharmacy staff, you can actually promote MedMate and those online orders to your customers so that they can still rely on their, their pharmacy that they relied on for so many years. They can rely on them for those online orders, but also I think it's important that the pharmacy understands that they can turn not only their existing customers into online customers, but they can also, more importantly, turn online customers into regular customers yep. that not only place those online orders, but actually make the effort and walk in the door because yep. We have to remember those online customers are local. Yeah. They and may not be spread word yeah. of mouth to their friends and family and that's their exactly. more customers. They yep. may not be living around the corner. They may be a suburb or two away. Yep. But they won't forget that particular pharmacy who supplied them what they needed at the time they needed. And got so it I delivered think, to them within yep, 60 exactly. minutes. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. In terms of a MedMate order, when a customer places a MedMate order, what's the usual process and how quick should it be for the pharmacy? I think it's important that we all that we all understand the process because I think pharmacies out there are assuming that it's a long process and it's yeah. laborious and it's not really at all, not, is not it? at all. Mm. They'll receive an order through their MedMate portal. Uh, they'll be able to see whether it's delivery, pick up, where the customer's located, what the customer's ordered, whether it's got over-the-counter items or scripts or both. It's as simple as them needing to check if they've got the stock. If the pharmacist is busy, they can ask a pharmacy assistant or a tech to check the stock. Then they can simply just proceed with the order, bag up all the items, and a driver will come and collect it from them and do the rest. Oh, that's great. Okay, and then if they do have a, an adjustment to the order, at what, what part of the order does that happen? Usually, the the pharmacy receives the order and then... They can either leave us a note in the notes box or they can give us a call and we'll update it in the back end for them. We are looking at new portals which will allow them to be able to do it on their own, which is going to make it much better. So that's coming soon. They'll be able to change prices, mm -hmm. items, quantities, everything. Yeah, so it's as simple as APP, as we like to say at MedMate, except process pack. That's the entire process from start to finish, easy as that. If they have any issues, they can give us a call. There's always someone that can chat with them or take the call and, and answer any questions. And there are always alternative products. There, yeah. There's got to be, um, with tens of thousands of products in the product portfolio in pharmacy, if they're placing an order for something, there's always going to be an, a, an alternative product that yeah. they can give the customer and follow through with that service. Yep. And in most cases, because we know that online orders are not about anything other than service, yep. are they? So really, there's always going to be an alternative product that pharmacies are going to be able to offer to yeah. their customers. And if they want, they can actually call up the customer themselves. They've got the customer's details there. They can ring the customer and they can say, look, I don't have this brand of cold and flu, but I've got this brand. Would you be happy to take that? And then they can let us know and we can change it for them. And they can also, as pharmacists, they can also counsel the customer over the yeah, phone exactly. for that yep. particular yep. And that way order. they're building the relationship with the customer as well. And the customer's a lot more likely to then return to that store yeah. and shop from them again. Well, yep. that's great. Okay. Yep. So Jess, in the course of taking these online MedMate orders, have you had ever had anything that's come up that uh, have, have been any issues that you've been able to resolve uh, very quickly? Uh, yeah, recently there was a customer actually who 
needed to pick up an item, she reached out to me and said, is it okay if you get the pharmacy to actually bring out my package once I get there because I'll have my pet parrot with me. So <laughs> simple as that, I called up the pharmacy, I said, this is the issue, this customer is going to have her pet with her and can't come in store, is it okay if she gives you a call once she's out the front and you guys bring it out to her? And she said, yep. Yeah that's totally fine, we'll do that. So then I let the customer know, that's fine, you can go with your parrot and wait out the front and the pharmacy will bring the package to you. <laughs> so yeah. We're helping a lot in isolation, I've noticed, um, especially over the last six months. I would say probably half of the customers have either had COVID or just been in isolation due to a scare. So that's been really good that we can still get everything that they need to them mm -hmm. and because of the contactless delivery yeah. the driver can just leave the package and you know either call or send a message to the customer to let them know they've dropped it off. In the case of prescriptions when the customer is required to show their ID we've had some that have shown it through a window or through a door or something like that so that all the procedures are still being followed and they're still getting what they need. And because they're, the customers, the, the ones that you've just mentioned, are um, there are a lot of them particularly yeah. the last year and a half. So given that, I think you can safely say that pharmacy has now become a vital service for that particular yeah. um, type of customer. I don't know what these customers mm. would have done without MedMate, to be mm. honest, and without these pharmacies mm. being able to get items delivered to them and, and in such a short amount of time as well. Mm. I'm finding that there's a lot of customers that are also ordering for other people, whether that's they've got a family or friend that's in isolation or they're ordering for their elderly parents or something or even just a you know we're selling a lot of gifts on MedMate now whether it's candles and things like that they might want to send a gift to yeah. to a friend or family member and then it's just being delivered to them from someone else. So, so let's talk about that so if someone if one of the pharmacies are registered with MedMate and they wanted to add something say a product range to their listing they're able to do that easily yeah yeah they yeah. can definitely they can uh, <coughs> schedule an appointment with myself or one of the team members and we're able to work with them to fix up their catalogue so that it reflects best what they want to sell okay. whether they've got items that are very popular in their store that might not be popular in another store we can definitely personalize that depending on the pharmacy so what would some of those items or ranges be? Would they be things like, say, uh, a pharmacy where weight management is, um, is a big seller? Or would it be sort of sundries and gift items? Yeah, or, or I'm, would finding, it be both? I'm finding both, really. Okay. Yeah, a lot of gift items. Even a pharmacy might have a particular brand of Panadol, paracetamol, that they yeah. sell. So then we can customise that so that it's that brand of paracetamol rather than the Panadol mm. brand. I, I think also you can say that pharmacies in general, when it comes to MedMate, they don't realise how flexible yeah, it of is. Course, yeah. they, can, they can add those additional yep. ranges. They can can offer alternatives, yep. they can offer a generic or yep. a totally different brand, they've got that communication with the customer if they need to, they've got that ability to counsel them over the yep. phone if they need to. I think that they're having that ability but I think pharmacies that are registering with MedMate they're not realising so much that they do have so much flexibility yeah, and I yep. think we need to point that out to them a little bit more. Basket sizes are three, four items very easily, convenience lines, nappies, formula, pregnancy tests, personal hygiene, sexual health products, vitamins, weight management, it's going to be really across the board and I think that's really important for all those companies who um, we're in currently in negotiations with. It's really important that we get that message out there for uh, not only the customer but also for the pharmacy that they can provide all this online. I'm seeing so many orders come through for the items that people and customers would not necessarily want to go in store for. They might not want to speak to someone face to face, mm -hmm. things like pregnancy tests, condoms, pads, tampons. Yeah. This can all be purchased in the private, you know, privacy of their own home mm -hmm. and delivered to their door without knowing. The driver doesn't know what's in the bag, it's all sealed up, it's private, everything can be delivered. Yeah. The other thing about MedMate that I noticed since starting with MedMate is that there are so many facets, so many different avenues where MedMate can help not only the customer, but it can help the pharmacy, it can help the companies who are promoting, trying to promote their, their product portfolio. Um, so how do you find all those questions from so many different areas coming through the MedMate office, from customers, from pharmacies? 
We have quite a big team now working on any inquiries that come through. So there'll all be, always be someone available that can take calls and messages, whether it be from customers, pharmacists, shop assistants. There are so many stores that are Australian founded and owned. It's nice to see them keeping up with the, some of the bigger stores and the bigger chains of, of pharmacies. I did notice that when um, I joined Medmate and when the offer was uh, presented, what really impressed me was there were so many professionals in the background that founded Medmate right here in Melbourne. So Australian, Australian company? Yep, Australian. Made up of doctors, pharmacists, IT experts. Um, there's all that advice, if anyone needed that professional advice, from a pharmacy point of view, um, there's certainly a lot of professionalism that Medmate is backed by. One of the draw cards for me was all that professionalism in one company. It makes a huge yeah. difference. I felt that there was that support that even though I had been in the pharmacy industry for so long, I knew that there were so many professionals I could rely on um, to, you know, and be part of that team. It just makes such a big difference. I think it's, it's only going to go uh, onwards and upwards from here. Yeah, having all those different professionals on board has definitely helped. So do you think working for MedMate has made a personal impact on who you are? Yeah, definitely. I really see the importance of MedMate and what they do for customers. Um, being on the team of managing the orders and dealing with customers, I've seen people who are really struggling and really unwell and it is really hard for them sometimes to get to a store and get what they need, whether it be because they're that sick or they can't drive or they're isolating. It's MedMate has been a great help to them and I think in turn that has made me feel like I'm doing something to help them. It's great. That's definitely great for the customers. I think also what we need to remember is how great it is for the pharmacies because it's it's a it's another funnel for orders, isn't it really? So basically they've been able to bridge the gap between what they've lost during this pandemic and what they can gain with online orders. So certainly MedMate has come to the party with that. I think it's also important for um, us to remember that it's been a godsend for pharmacies as well to utilise MedMate for those additional online orders to bridge the gap between what they've lost and what they're able to garner online, especially tr during this pandemic. Um, it's been especially difficult for some pharmacies in some areas, be it rural or you know, CBD pharmacies in particular, have been very badly affected by, by the last year and a half. So this has certainly made a difference for quite a few pharmacies. Yeah, definitely. Yeah.